New tonight, we're hearing from a man who claims he too was sexually abused by Father James Silva. The former Rhode Island priest was indicted this week on child molestation charges. The alleged victim says the abuse happened around 1970 while he attended a Catholic school where Silva served as a parish priest for years. 12 News reporter Amanda Pitts joins us now live in studio with his story. Amanda? Mike Shannon, Joe Ruggieri claims his abuse happened two decades before the cases we learned about this week. Now he wonders if he'd spoken up sooner, how many others he could have saved from abuse. It's still to be seen whether he gets justice or not. 61-year-old Joe Ruggieri says he's been living the past 51 years with a cloud over his head. Suffer from depression and anxiety, have had a suicide attempt. Um, so it's, you know, it's cast a shadow. He says it started when he became an altar boy. The child of two devout Catholics, he attended Catholic school in Newport. Some kids think about when they're six or seven years old being a firefighter. At that age, I was thinking about being a priest. And tell me what sort of changed for you to not be, become a priest? Well, um, meeting Father Silva. Ruggieri says around 1969, he and his classmates went to a sleepover camp in Rehoboth, along with Father James Silva, who was the parish priest. I uh, was on a camping trip where he molested me. Um, I was nine or ten at the time. You know, I didn't really discover or have full cognizance of what happened to me until I was older. Ruggieri tried to press charges in the early 90s, but it was too late. He says he and a group of other victims filed a civil complaint against the Providence Diocese and that it was settled in 2002, but Ruggieri says that wasn't enough justice. He's never had a really answer to his crimes. Until this week, when 81-year-old Silva was indicted by a statewide grand jury on child molestation charges dating back to 1989. I thought it was about time. In 1993, Silva was removed from the priesthood and pleaded guilty to a second-degree sexual assault charge two years later. Ruggieri wonders if those instances could have been prevented had he spoken up sooner. How many people suffered because of that? Um, and... You know, part of me was thinking, gee, if I had just said something back then, you know, maybe I could have stopped this from happening. Following the indictment this week, the Providence Diocese said in a statement that Silva was on its list of credibly accused clergy published in 2019, adding that the diocese remains committed to cooperating with law enforcement. Live in studio, Amanda Pitts, 12 News.